You do the intro. You should. <laughs> Go ahead. Go nuts. <laughs> I don't wanna. You don't wanna do the intro? No, I don't feel well. I don't wanna. Feel okay to me. Ha ha ha. Go, Mama, go. Hey, everybody. I am Krista, and... That's Brad. And he's Brad. <laughs> we're and from something. We're from the Big Family Homestead, and today we have a few things to chat with you about. Brad made his list, and the only thing he could find was a purple crayon. And scrap paper that the kids used for something. some art project. Uh, yeah, I don't know what she was making, but uh, anyway... Um, <laughs> Should I go now? Yes, please. Hey, everybody! It's Brad. <laughs> I'm Krista. With the Big Family Homestead. See, I was what? trying. To, I was trying to get her to come out of her shell. She's like a, okay. a precious little turtle. Wait, you She's don't got understand. her head in, in the in the feet. I have in. a head cold. I have a head cold right now. I don't feel well. I'm achy, and I just want to take a nap. Well, which is what I told you to do earlier. I had an important phone call to make. Okay. Okay. Just calm down. Your pills, Garth. Anyway, name that movie. Okay, so here's the scoop, guys. Got a few things we wanted to chat with you on. And as you're watching this, we are probably either in route to or at, are at, are at, are at. Are on location. On location. <laughs> uh, at the meetup, the, the get together, the fall festival Instead of awesomeness. Fall festival. Yes. Yeah. And so we decided to make this video early because we are probably feasting and. Reveling in the glory of the weekend homestead's place <laughs> and the people. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so it, it's just, it's fun. We, we, we have a good time with these things, and um, that's where we're at. Um, we will try to do a, a, a good bit of filming so that you guys who can't make it or it's just too far. Get to see what we got to do. Yeah, we've even got some little breakout sessions planned. Mm. Um, who, what, what did we hear that was going to be something cool? Oh, one of the cool things, the lady's going to show how to make uh, brownies from scratch on a campfire in cast iron. Ooh, that'll be good. I yeah. can't wait. And so we're going to do some stuff and hang out. Um, so we're excited about that. Now, probably by the time you're watching this, uh, either today when you're watching this or tomorrow at some time, if everything keeps going good uh, for our channel, we will hit 100,000 subscribers. Yes. Yes, high fives, high fives. And we are just so grateful. Yes, we really are. And I know a lot of you are like, what are you grateful for? We just watch your videos. Well, we are grateful that you watch our videos. It, so, yeah, I mean, yeah. not only are we building community, we're learning a lot of different skills that we might never have learned. I mean, for example, right. we're, we're, we're not like the authority on just about anything in homesteading. No. At all. No, we've just figured out what works for us. Well, and then we show you guys what we know, and then usually there are people that make good suggestions on how to do it better or smarter, and, and we keep going, and we learn from that. And so, to be honest, without you guys that are being helpful, I mean, there's a section of you guys who are just nasty, and you don't need to comment. But the nice people, <laughs> the nice people, it benefits us, and then we share, and it benefits the whole community. So... Yep. That's why, one of the reasons why we're still doing this after, what, four years? Three and a half. Well, it'll be four years this December. Yeah, mm -hmm. the 25th. So anyway, that's coming up, but we need to know. We, here's the thing, like most channels do some kind of celebration or they do something, a giveaway or something like that. How should we celebrate the 100,000 marks? Should we, you know, you got any ideas? Not today. I don't know if you can hear this, but the cow's going yes. nuts out there behind us. Wait, let's see. Oh, she quieted down. There it is. <laughs> anyway. Poor thing. <laughs> so, idea. What what ideas do you have? I take a nap. We'll take a nap. Maybe I, maybe, maybe we should take a month off. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you know what's funny is that uh, I can't even get you to take a day off. So a month is a huge stretch. Well. The funny thing is, guys, we don't really manufacture content. We don't we don't sit down and go, well, uh, today we're going to do this with the goats, and Monday we'll do this, and then we'll do that, and it's honestly whatever's going on. Right, right. And that's why you see this. 
And you know what? We actually need to have like a, a project board. There's another channel that hit, um, I think it's our, our Wyoming Life. Mm -hmm. They have a project board in their barn and it's just a big whiteboard and it's got all the projects That's a great idea. that they have to do. And we really need to do that. That's a great idea. Yeah. But um, maybe, maybe we'll do that. We'll get a whiteboard for our hundreds. <laughs> Can't we get a chalkboard? They're more fun. <clears throat> They're just messy. Yeah, it's a barn. Good point. There's a fly that keeps attacking us. It's been jumping on my leg. Where's that fly swatter? I don't know. It's right. Oh. I put it back. <gasps> um, oh, but you. how do you how do you think we should celebrate? Should we do a video of some kind or a giveaway? Because I guess um, when you get that mark, YouTube gives you a play button. They send it to you in the mail. Awesome. Maybe we could blow it up with some Tannerite. Really? They don't like the Second Amendment things at YouTube. They they block and ban those things. <laughs> we'll blow it up. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, suggestions on how we should celebrate. I thought Wrangler Star, he, he's a homesteading channel that's probably the biggest homesteading channel that's out there. Yeah. And uh, he hit a, a million subscribers a while back and, you know, he had they decided that he, well, he just said, you know what we're going to do when we hit a million subscribers? Go to McDonald's. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm, well. I think it's hilarious. He, yeah. he basically is just, he's a dude out there doing his thing. He's he's literally a firefighter for uh, wild forest kind of stuff. And he's a cool guy. He's got an interesting life and a really nice family. And yeah. I just thought it was really level-headed of him to go, yeah, it's a million subscribers. Whoop-de-doo. We'll go to, we'll go to McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, goats. The goats have been rehomed. They are the family that got the goats. Awesome. Are an amazing family. Um, we couldn't Cutest show, girls ever. Oh my gosh. We couldn't show all of the cuteness that the girls were just oozing out of everywhere. They were just absolutely sweet children. And five. Well, well behaved. Very well behaved. Mm -hmm. Five girls. <laughs> and, all, one, and one boy. No. No? No, the little one was a girl. Man, I got that wrong again. I know. <laughs> And I said it to him. Oh, no, no, he corrected you right then and there. See? But five little girls, um, two of them are foster babies, and they are just the sweetest family. I'm so excited that we were able to bless use this them. opportunity to bless their family. And that was what we were hoping for. And they love goat's milk. They do love goat's milk, so win <laughs> so we'll check in on them every so often and make yeah. sure they don't need anything or if they have any right. questions we'll right. we'll help out but um that was just a huge blessing i mean we've been blessed over the years sometimes folks will help us out with this or that mm -hmm. and and we always want to try to make sure we're paying that forward exactly and so um yeah goats well who was it that said um i don't know Forget uh, it. It was that guy. It was that guy. That guy said, said that I don't really know. awesome thing. He said it, and that's all we need to know. <laughs> you guys tell that I'm not well. <laughs> if you think about it, write it down on the no, list. I I know. I... Oh, I forgot to mention. Um, we're gonna be we're gonna be trying a new recipe to bring to the get together, the meetup, and uh, I've got it in my brain what I want to make, but they're gonna be caramel apple cookies. Mm -hmm. So like think I'm like a sugar cookie oh, no, you're not. think like a sugar cookie base with caramel and apples in it and I'm I'm I've got it. I've got it. So where are we going? It is not the is not what it oh, is. Oh yeah, Z uh, well Zig Ziglar. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Well, I had the blessing of working with Zig Ziglar for over a year. Um and cuz I did he passed away, right. obviously, cuz you can't right. work with him after the fact. Yeah, that's it's a little more difficult. Um <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little loopy today. <laughs> but I got to do a lot of video work with him, and so I had access that a lot of people don't have. And he yeah. is, first of all, godly man. Yeah. It was one of the coolest things ever, because he'd come and do these events at these arena things, but part of his deal was, part of the stipulation was, I have to be home on Saturday because he taught Sunday school yeah. on Sunday. Yeah, that's really amazing. It's super cool. Yeah. But he said... If you help enough people get what they want, eventually you're gonna get what you want. Or need. Yeah. You know. And so when we think of stuff like the goats, 
to us, it's a blessing because, you know, we're helping them get what they need. You guys, even by watching these videos are helping us just, I mean, just by the fact you're watching. So yeah. it's a circle. It's a, it's a cyclical it's cool. circle of life kind of stuff. No. <laughs> All right. Now, oh, out there goodness. in the YouTube world or elsewhere, I'm, I've been chewing on some different t-shirt ideas that I want to get together. And, um, the ironic thing is a lot of them, most of them are not channel related. I just got some good ideas for t-shirts. And, um, if you know of anybody that does the, this real screen printing, not, not the stick on things yeah. uh, or iron on, yeah, iron on things, um, I would be interested in chatting with you if you've got good pricing. Yeah. So if you're interested, um, let us know. Yeah. Info dot big family homestead at gmail.com. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, what, what is that? Uh, that's something that came into my brain. Uh oh. We do we do Patreon. What? Is, is this part of this? No, we we got to okay. go here first. Okay. This, this. I went out of order. Sorry. Here, you can have that back. Draw something nice. <laughs> um, we do Patreon, guys, and the reason we do Patreon is because there's a lot of stuff that YouTube doesn't really want. <laughs> I can't draw. <laughs> doesn't really want out there. So we put those kind of videos over there where we talk about stuff that's maybe a little more politically incorrect um, <laughs> to the masses or Second Amendment related or where we're headed as a country, um, where we're headed in society. And um, so if you're interested in that kind of content, that's what we put out over there. And actually, the video that we're going to be releasing either today when you're watching this or soon is going to be on concealed carry. Mm -hmm. and what we think of it and so if you're interested in that yep it's over there yep now um here's the thing guys i know mama's not feeling well so no. i'll just i'll Go chat ahead. we are a deeply deeply passionate family about our relationship with god more specifically christ jesus and so I wanted to talk just a little bit today on, on something that I really wanted to share with you, but if that's not your thing, I wanted you to be able to have a chance to go, yeah, okay, I like them, but I'm not into this, and click away. And the reason why is because I don't think God tries to force people into doing that. He doesn't like force himself on you. He does not like come with a back or a back. Bible and saying, you will bow. Two by four. It doesn't work like that. No. So, I want to be respectful to those who may may not want to do that. But if you do stick around, I, I I can guarantee, even those who may think you know you know atheism is their thing, you'll still get something out of this. Yeah. So, with that said, here we go. Um, it's been on my heart for quite a while, and I I keep touching on this in like live streams and stuff. But I, I want you to know that you specifically, every person that's watching this that you are so loved by God. I mean, uh, there's evidences everywhere. And the, the one evidence I want to talk about today is your uniqueness. You specifically are 100% original. Mm -hmm. There will never be another copy. The mold was broke a long time ago. There will never be anybody in the entire history of mankind that's exactly like you with your skill set with your wit with your ability to do things love and and <laughs> wisdom and all of those things that make you up specifically you are 100 percent unique and and god made you specifically he crafted you specifically to do some things that he wants you to do and to be in relationship with him mm -hmm. and um when you when you consider that out of all the billions of people that have lived and you are 100 percent unique and loved and you're crafted by your creator who absolutely has done everything to remove any barrier between us and him and i just want you to kind of stew on that we're not going to go to a crazy you know altar call kind of thing uh I just want you to just think about this, that the God who made everything, mm -hmm. everything, made you specifically unique in your gift set, your skill set, there will never be an exact copy again. Mm -hmm. And so the question is, 
What are you going to do with that? How are you going to use that? There it is. That's really it. So, I'm going to draw pictures. Now, ooh. Oh, he ripped his list. I have abused the list. Anyway, <laughs> I'm Brad. I'm Krista. You guys have an amazing day.